Hi guys, it's Dana. I'm feeling pretty lousy again. You know how in my, uh, in our video back in, I guess it was December when we were in Yuma and I had to go to the hospital because of our insurance, the ER, they'll pay for that if you pay like 150 or something. So <clears throat> I'm feeling, I have that same junk again, except like a sinus infection thing. And now it's gone into my chest and we're like way up here in town in Taos, New Mexico, and then we're heading towards Colorado, so it's just going to get higher in elevation. So I need to go ahead and um, go to the ER here and get, get seen there so I can get um, a steroid shot and a, some antibiotics. So I'll keep you posted on how I'm feeling, but um, today is the, I'm not sure if it's the 8th, it's Friday, June 8th, I think. So um, we're supposed to meet Terry and Scott um, tomorrow in Salida or Salida and then meet Aja and them up in Buena Vista but depending on how the elevation is affecting us and a lot of people are kind of having some problems with it like us we're having getting sinus infections and and just stuff like that so I'm gonna see what the doctor says when I go we're heading out there now hey guys Hey guys, so it's Dana with Full Tiny House and <laughs> my baby girl, she's got a bloody nose. I'm sitting here in the emergency room. We're in an exam room. I've got Danny. She's over here too. She came with us. And um, Jesslyn just started getting a bloody nose. Have you had one at all since we've been up in New Mexico? Uh-huh, oh, but yeah. it's not this bad. It's, it's completely like really runny, like bloody. So she's pinching her nose and she has a little... A little clamper on here. Put your finger there. So anyway, <clears throat> I came in because it went the um, sinus infection that I got went real deep into my lungs. So I'm here. We've been here a couple of hours waiting. They put me in a room in New Mexico. They have a warm blanket tradition. I guess it's a nice tradition that they do and put a warm blanket on you. <laughs> I'm already warm, but you know, it was really nice. So anyway, we're waiting here for the doctor to come in and. Um, Maybe we'll see if he can give me some kind of a shot for my cough. But I'm just, we're already, right now we're at like 69, 69 is the elevation. <laughs> and um, we're supposed to be heading up to Buena Vista, but that's at like 70. 8, 000? Is it 8, 000? Um, I don't know, it's like 7,800 maybe, I don't know. 7100 I don't know but it's it's a little it's not actually too too much higher than where we are now but I'm going to tell you even like we came up we came up we came up today from near Española it's uh in between Santa Fe and Taos and we I found this amazing uh BLM camping right on the river and New Mexico has just got spectacular camping spots for free and so we pulled off and we got lucky and we stayed a couple nights there we um, then decided to drive to Taos uh, today and as soon as we started going up we, we, we went up about a thousand feet I didn't realize how how far we were going to be traveling uh, or how high we we're going to be traveling in one day but my left ear was popping it didn't pop but it clogged up so bad I had to stop and I, did, I was like I didn't know if I could make it I already had a major major sinus infection and uh, just tonight after uh, <clears throat> all the sinuses it went straight into my chest and it started coughing so I'm like I get this every six months and they said here at the hospital the fires are um, making everyone's um, allergies go berserk so that could have something to do with it but as soon as we got into Santa Fe I started getting headaches and we came to Santa Fe straight from Oklahoma City that like we drove straight to Santa Fe so we went up all the way to what was the elevation in Santa Fe 7,000 7, yeah, yeah. <coughs> 7,100 and um, so we've been acclimating for about five days now this is like the fifth or sixth night I think plus the cotton mood and the allergies everything's just really allergens are just going allergies or everywhere <coughs> and so Anyway, I'm just updating you. The Camper Fest is <clears throat> July 10th, and um, that's a month away, a little over a month. And we're just going to try to do the best we can. We're supposed to meet Terry and Scott in 
Salida. However, it's even, what is it? It's uh, 70, almost 7,100 feet. So <clears throat> I don't, I don't know how that's going to affect us. It's only what it's about a little over a hundred um, feet from where we, yeah. So I think we'll be okay, but I think it's pretty not BLM free camping friendly, not, not real boondock friendly. So um, we're just enjoying New Mexico at the moment. And you can stay at so many places for free at the visitor center. There's a lot of BLM land right on the Rio Grande River. Just amazing uh, beauty out here. And um, so we're gonna touch base with them tomorrow again and decide where we're going to meet and um we'll let you know in the meantime uh after this i was going to say i'm going to post oh, the doctor's in. Hang on. she's got a bloody nose now <laughs> we might have to we might have to get her seen too no it's just the elevation is really affecting us <laughs> you're doing the right thing okay like yeah. this about 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, he's been a good 10 minutes. All right, keep you think at it. it. Probably, she should still hold it there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 10 minutes. Is the doctor coming in anytime soon? <laughs> no. <laughs> you can't answer that, huh? No. See what I mean? We've been here a good, I'd say a good two hours. We got here at 9. What time is it? 11.14. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we've been here a little over two hours, so, yeah. Mm, and anyway, what's wrong? My ears closed. Oh, because you're plugging your nose and you, you probably blew. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, go check and make sure you're okay now. You want to go wash up and then and then check again. Yeah, so all the kids have been kind of experiencing. <laughs> Poor babies. Yeah, it just kind of depends on, on how we're going to do this. If only the camper fest was in lower elevation. A lot of people will probably be affected by the elevation, especially if you're from sea level like us. Yeah, we, we've never, I think I went to Colorado as a kid, but you know, that was, and I did get sick, <laughs> but uh, nauseous and then I was okay. But yeah, things change when you're, when you're older. So anyway, that's my update for now. Steve's at home. Well, he, Steve's at the visitor center at the, on the RV with Ethan and Aubrey and the dogs. And Danny and me and Cheslin are here at the hospital in Taos. And um, they're very accommodating. It's just, it's a small medical center and it's just taking forever. You know how ERs are. So, anyway, I'll, I'll post my uh, next video. It's going to be the one that I'm working on now. Um, when we were in Oklahoma, we went to this uh, amazing restaurant and had some family meet us there. So, that'll be kind of fun, different change of pace for for my video so stay tuned for that i'm gonna go ahead and post this now since i have internet and i have i have not responded to comments because i have not had internet but now we're at the medical center and i'm able to um post this i hope but yeah we've been in the mountains and i've been without anything for three days i've had barely had a phone so thanks for being patient and for sticking with us and we'll see you next time on full tiny house bye say bye jesse Bye-bye. Hope you feel better, honey. Thank you. Bye, Danny. Bye. What the nurse he brought into her a nose clamp. <laughs> so she went up to hold her nose. That's cool. We got to ask for several to bring home because Ethan gets nosebleeds like every night. <laughs> Poor guy. No, he's always been prone to nosebleeds. Oh, gross. <laughs> What's on the Just don't get your boogers on it. <laughs> he can use a nose. Okay, so all I got was just to... Um, steroid shot and I he didn't give me antibiotics what I normally get so I'm a little bummed about that but I didn't have a copay to pay now so hopefully they won't be billing me for a bunch of money um, because it wasn't really I don't know if it was worth it or not because usually I'll get some uh what do you call that stuff izzy pack which normally helps but it's not they said it's just uh sinus and allergies and uh, what else? congestion cough you know and when you get a cough and you're uh, I just what is worried about the elevation so I don't know but we're gonna just keep going um, he said just acclimate and you know you'll get used to it so that's what we're gonna do and uh, continue on so we'll see you down the road and um, in our next video thanks for watching bye